Hi, welcome back to Archie and Drew. I was going to say that. He's Archie. And I'm Drew. Together we make Archie and Drew. That's right. Um, today we'd like to talk to you about letters. Oh yes, the alphabet A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Not the alphabet. No. Not the alphabet. Letters as in, dear friend, um, here is my news I have put for the post. Oh, like a long distance correspondent. Yes, right. Uh, that makes more sense. <laughs> in fact, we received a letter this week from some dear friends of ours who live in Victoria. They've just finished an almost month-long camping trip. It was great to read about all their adventures traveling into Northern Territory and in the Victorian High Country. They also included several pages of photographs so we could see some of the interesting places they visited. We really enjoy receiving letters from them, and we'll be sending one to them next week. Speaking of letters, the Apostle Paul was an excellent letter writer. Mm. Aren't his letters called epistles in the Bible? Yes, Archie, they are. Epistle is another word for letter. Paul wrote under the influence and guidance of the Holy Spirit to many churches he established in Greece, Asia Minor, and Italy. A lot of these letters became part of what we now know as the New Testament and the Holy Bible. <laughs> to the Romans, Paul wrote exhorting them to live holy lives and to appreciate the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ. To the Corinthians, he wrote letters of correction, setting in order several doctrinal errors and rebuking those guilty of gross sin. And to the Colossians, Paul advised and encouraged to keep their eyes on Christ and to set their minds on the things of God's kingdom rather than things of this world. Besides these three churches, Paul also wrote to the Thessalonians, the Galatians, and the Philippians, as well as several letters to individual church leaders, Timothy, Titus, and Philemon, with instructions on how to live righteously and how the church should conduct themselves. Paul's letters are a beacon of hope and a source of practical and spiritual guidance and encouragement on how we should live our lives for the glory of the Lord. I'm sure the churches and Paul's brothers in Christ appreciated receiving these letters and I know we appreciate reading them all these hundreds of years later. We also appreciate receiving letters from our friends in Victoria and hope that receiving our letters brings them joy as well. Maybe this week you could write a letter of encouragement to someone you know who is struggling or in need of comfort. Perhaps you would like to include a scripture or two as well. Or even post a card to let your loved one know that you are praying for them. I'm sure they would be blessed by it. Take some time to read your favourite letter from Paul again, noting ways he encouraged and exhorted his readers to follow Jesus Christ. That's all we have time for today. Thanks for watching, God be with you, and goodbye. God bless.